Hi, welcome to video number two of our maker spaces we can do at home. Today I thought I really am missing my Harry Potter Club kids and who doesn't like Harry Potter? So I thought it'd be fun to do wands today. So I was having fun just experimenting this morning. Um, this is the elder wand, if you can see it there. There you go. It was pretty easy. I just went on YouTube and looked up some tutorials and I think it came out pretty good. The elder wand. So I thought for this afternoon, let's try to make Harry's Potter's wand. This is the one that I bought when I was at Universal Studios in London, and it's a really great wand. But surely we can do something almost as good, right? All right, so equipment that we will need. We had Chinese food the other night, and when you get Chinese food, you get chopsticks. Those will work really great for wands, and as you notice, they already have the nice point for you. And it's a really nice size for a small wand. Or you can get some of these dowels. And these are the thin ones as well. Or they even have colored ones. Or if you still have some of the thick dowels that we had last time we did, when we made wands with the Harry Potter Club, those will work as well. So I'm going to use the little bit longer dowel because I want my wand to be a little bit longer than the chopstick ones. And as you can see, with the size difference is quite a big bit of difference but either one will work you could even go and find a stick nice stick in fact the curvier it is probably the better it will look so your starting material doesn't matter you will need a glue gun so if you're using a glue gun make sure you get permission from your parents and they supervise you because you can get burnt with a glue gun but this is the one thing you really need to make the wand also, you're going to need some paint. Brown is good. Black. And I had it asked for in the tutorial, it says gold paint. I didn't have any gold paint at home, but I did have some gold glitter glue. And I used that on the Elder Wand. Didn't look quite as nice, but it still gave it that little sparkle. So I think it was fine. I do also have some a gold pen. And we could try using that as well. And that might give us a little bit of the effect we want. And it does kind of look cool if I put a little bit of the gold marker on it. You can see that does kind of look nice. So those are all options. Um, I have some glitter too, some regular glitter. I don't know if I'm going to be using that or not. We're just going to kind of see how it goes. All right, so now you know what we need. Let's start with the glue gun, and we need to build up this base. So I'm going to put it on fast motion because it's, I'm going to have to let it dry in between each fest, and I'm really going to have to build it up with the glue gun. Are you ready? Should be fun. I know mine's probably not going to look like that when I'm done, but we had fun, and I think it'll look cool when I'm done. So let's see how it goes. See what I did there? I put a little bit of spoil on the bottom because I want it to be flat when I'm done. So I'm looking at this and it has a very flat bottom. So I want to make sure mine is flat. So while it's still warm, I smoothen it out. I'm going to build a little bit of that around there and then I can just remove the foil. Alright, so you can see that I'm working on the second part, and if you look at the original wand, see how it's got this is a little bit down, and but it's not quite as big, so I'm working on that part right now, and it 
looks like it's got some kind of circular here. So I'm going to build that up a little bit. And then add a little bit more to this. Because it is quite thick. This pond is quite thick at the top. A little bit different than the elder wand. So I'm going to keep building it up. Let it dry for a minute. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I cut down the foil so it's just left down there and because I can paint right over the foil and it was glued pretty good so I couldn't take it off, which is fine. It's easy to paint over. And I'm I'm getting there. This is pretty built up, and I've got this part, and I want it, this is smooth, and but I want it to be a little bit raggedy. His wand is kind of smooth, but I I kind of like a little bit of character there so it might not be perfect Harry Potter so if you want to leave yours smooth but I'm just gonna add a little bit I need to this does go through a lot of glue sticks so I'm just gonna add a little bit more to this part and I'm easiest when I'm gluing just to do it much in Then I'm just going to add so as a little bit of character on this, more of a wood look, I think. So a little bit, just a little bit, just to add a little bit of character. And then, since it has a flat tip, I'm going to add a little bit to make it more of what the tip should look like. There. When that dries, that'll look good. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. I really am getting pretty close to being done. It does use a lot of glue sticks. I think I've gone through three glue sticks making this. So make sure you have three or four glue sticks before you start. Yeah. What do you think? So I'm just going to let that dry. All right. Now that it's all dried, we're going to start painting our project. I'm just using the brown washable paint, and I'm going to start painting that right now. Alright, so we put a first coat and you can see it looks pretty good, but I'm going to put a second coat so it looks even better. All right, now we just need to let it dry. All right, it's all dried. Now we're just gonna add some accents and put a little sparkle on it and we're done. It's pretty exciting. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of black paint and I just have this washable tempera paint and I'm gonna put a little tiny bit on. And I have a small brush this time because I wanna just do a little detail. So I'm not gonna Put it black all over but I'm just going to give it little highlights.
right, as you can see, that really gave it some nice little color. I'm kind of pleased with that. Maybe add just a little, little bit more here. I missed a little bit there. Gives it a little depth. Very pleased. All right, that's how we're looking so far. All right, now we're ready to put the finishing touches. And so I just want to make it spark a little bit, make it a little magical. And so I'm going to use a little bit of my gold glitter glue to give it a little sparkle, to give it that finishing touch. my gold pen that I have, maybe add a little bit in these grooves, maybe add a little bit of accent there too if I'd like. Just be as creative as I want. All right, I'm very pleased with that. It looks similar if we compare it to the one I got at Universal Studios. I think you can see that it is similar, maybe not quite the quality, but I'm very, very pleased. It was fun to make. Um, took about, probably in real time, about a good half hour to do the different layers and add the paint and the sparkle. But I'm very pleased and it came out very pretty and I'm gonna add it to my Harry Potter collection. Maybe one day I'll take you in my spare room and show you all my Harry Potter stuff. Maybe we'll do that next week, we'll see. All right, thank you for tuning in, and I'm really excited to see your wands. Maybe you can post them in the Google Classroom. Um, maybe I'll make it an assignment. You can share a picture with me. All right, bye. See you in a few days.